Yo, what's up? In today's video, I'll be reviewing Yop Om. And some people pronounce it as Job Om, but the real pronouncing is uh, Yop Om. So basically, it's an old toilet uh, perfume that came in 1989. So it's really quite old. And to be honest, I bought it in the summer. So it's been like almost like nine months. And I used it a little bit in the summer. Then I saved it to the winter. So recently I used it again. And now I'm going to review it. And it was my first time to purchase it ever. It was like la almost last year, like in the summer. Um, but once I bought it like and I tried it, uh, it reminded me of my father because my father had the same perfume. He used to smell like that, to be honest. So yeah, this is a classic uh, fragrance, to be honest. It doesn't smell that great, but it's not bad. So to be honest, it has a lot of hate. I don't know why. Uh, I personally didn't hate it. And now I'm going to tell you the, my honest review about it and the performance and everything. Starting with the ingredients, the top notes are orange blossom, mandarin orange, bergamot, and lemon. The middle notes are cinnamon, heliotrope, jasmine, cardamom, lily of the valley. The base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli, honey, tobacco, and vetiver. So basically, once you spray it in the opening, you will smell like um, lemon, um, mandarin, orange. You will smell all these uh, top notes, to be honest. Uh, it's like a cocktail um, of fruitiness and spiciness. So to be honest, for me, it smells like a cherry. Literally, um, the smell is like a powdery cherry. Like there is like a cherry scent with a lot of powder. This is what I smell in the opening. It smells a lot of powdery, spicy, um, classic. It smells really classic, like a barber shop scent, like a very classic scent. This is the opening for me. Then after it dries down, it becomes more sweet. And you can start smelling the vanilla and the tonka bean and the honey and the patchouli. But it, it will be almost the same smell, to be honest. Like after the drying down and the opening, it's almost the same. Like it will not be that different. Some perfumes, the uh, fragrances, uh, they have a uh, difference in, like in the opening and in the uh, dry down. But this one is like almost similar. It will become only like more sweet in the in the dry down. So basically, as I said, it's a classic um, perfume, 1989. So it's been like um, 35 years. So it's really old. And now they have many flankers of Yop, like a new flankers. I have the newest one, Le Parfum, and I'm gonna do a review for it also in the future. But now I'm just talking about this fragrance. To be honest, I don't hate it. And I didn't love it that much. Um, I feel it's normal. And I feel like, as I said, it's a classic perfume, but it's an office friendly. It's not loud as before. I, uh, I hear many people like, they used to say like, it's very loud, but for me, it wasn't loud. Um, the projection is like almost half meter or meter maximum. So it's not loud um, and it's a classic. I feel um, it's not for daily use, unless like in the office, for example, if you're sitting in the office, yeah, you can use it daily. Or in, if you're wearing a suit or a special occasions, this will help you, to be honest. But in normal hangouts, like with your friends and stuff, I don't feel this fragrance is like for hangouts. I feel like for, to be honest, like for office or like special occasions, like weddings or wearing suit, because it smells really classic. You will smell really classic. Um, it's not like um, for the young generation. This perfume is like um, for old old men or like adults. Uh, but for me, I, I used it many times. I used it in the winter. I didn't get offended. I didn't get uh, bad comments, but I felt like the projection was weak. It was almost half meter only, nothing much. The longevity was good. It stays like around six hours on your skin. For an older toilet version, it's really good. And the price is quite cheap. It's like around $20. And um, this price is really good for um, a classic fragrance. So I had it in the summer, as I said, it's almost empty now. I used it in the, <laughs> in the gym, in our normal hangouts, at work. Um, I enjoyed the scent, to be honest. Even in the summer, it was really hot and I used it. It wasn't that bad. Um, unless it's really, really hot because it become like sticky fragrance. So this fragrance is the best thing to use it in the winter. Um, it's not bad. Don't listen to the hate comments. If you love old scents, or like powdery vanilla fragrances, I would advise you to buy this one. It's still good. Even in 2024, it's still worth it. It's not that bad, but it's classic and it's really old. So you can go ahead and buy it if you never owned it, to be honest. Uh, but, but keep in your mind, this is like for old men and it's like classic 
and the projection is not that strong as before but it's not something bad you will just smell like a cherry and vanilla and powder so it's not a bad fragrance I would rate it maybe 7 out of 10 and uh, I will not purchase it again in the future but I didn't regret buying it so this was my honest review about this fragrance in, in case you're interested in buying it or something thanks a lot for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments thanks a lot and have a good day bye bye